But Rebecca, who has become an advocate and expert on the issue, is back with us now. It, it's good to see. I appreciate it. I, I'm always admiring of you being willing to talk about something that is so hard uh, to fight so that other mothers don't go through what you've gone through with your, with your sons. You, you listen to the attorney general right now. Uh, what was your reaction? Well, I mean, hearing you, I was really encouraged because when I heard that something big happened today, that there was this big announcement from the White House, um, I expected to read that something big happened. And um, I'm very grateful for all the work of our um, border agents. I'm very grateful for the work of the DEA. But I have friends who work um, in those fields, and they tell me that their hands are tied. You know, they know exactly where the cartels are, and um, our government won't let them them do something, won't let them act. And, you know, just a month ago, we had the Mexican president saying, you know, we don't manufacture fentanyl in our country. Like, and, and now all of a sudden there's this big announcement, oh, you know, 28 are being charged. There's seven in custody right now, seven in Mexico. Hmm. And, and they're not the big three, the Chipitos from the uh, Sinaloa cartel. And that's not the most dangerous cartel. They make it sound like they're the most powerful, most dangerous. You know, I keep reading, and I just attended a, a participated in a DEA family summit in Kalamazoo last Wednesday. Um, you know, the most violent one is CJNG. Um, but they're making it sound like, oh, you know, this is it. This is the biggest. Like, not everything that I've been reading, not everything that the DEA agent. DEA agents are talking about. Um, so to hear that there's only three in custody in Mexico and they're being extradited um, was was really disappointing. And they're not even the biggies. It just sounds like it's yeah, a I, lot of this smoke. Is, this is what the White House says. These actions represent yet another step in our efforts to counter fentanyl trafficking worldwide and work with Mexico and other key partners to combat the devastating threat this activity poses. We remain steadfast in our belief that the illicit drug trade is a threat to our public health and safety, national security and economy. We remain steadfast in our commitment to hold accountable those supporting this deadly enterprise. You take that statement, you compare it to what we just saw today and what you said. Where do you think the disconnect is? Why is there this reluctance to go after the cartels in a way that would actually protect Americans from fentanyl? Well, I mean, they're clearly saying all the right things, except I was troubled to hear that um, sound bite where they use the term overdose, you know, that they were testing on, on a woman and she overdosed. That's not an overdose, that's murder. Okay, that's not an overdose. Overdose sounds like, oh, it's accidental, and, you know, she was a user, and she, you know, was um, using fentanyl and accidentally overdosed. No, that was that's murder, okay? It's not an overdose. It's poisoning. There's a difference. Um, I just feel like a lot no, that's of... A, that's um, a great... Yeah, it's a great point. I mean, I, I think if you, want, if you want to encapsulate how it does not seem as though people understand the problem, calling, calling that an overdose... Uh, is the perfect the perfect way to encapsulate it. Rebecca, it's good to see you as always. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're going to have to have you back to talk about this because it's not getting any better. All right. Thanks for bringing attention right. to Th this. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.